What do you mean? How does he look? Relieved, scared. Uh, well, he nervous. he obviously yeah. is still very frightened. Um, he's sure. still badly wounded. Um, he uh, he seems a little unnerved with the idea that they're basically just going to come back and do it again tomorrow. So, um, I would say overall, uh, he's very anxious. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm I'm gonna first pause and look to see if Leo intend or wants there to do the talking or anything like that or uh if if you're fine. Mm. Cause right now the all I really am interested in is A finding out who this guy is, B, uh what did he really do, and C how we can help him. Um if you're interested at all, uh, you know, Aaron would love your help. If you're not, then he'll do the talking. He he doesn't wanna cut you out. And he doesn't want to force you to do it. Yeah. Um, I will. I'm fine with going over and talking with him. Um, get a little more information. Okay. Um, Wilson, where's our place? I'm between residences at the moment. So you lost it all and your family left you? Did you have a family? Unfortunately, I am the only member of my family that is still alive. Show us where the inn is. Okay, so he'll take you uh, back to the inn he's staying in. Staying is at. Is it a decent inn? It is a very nice place. Okay. Is it a nice place like what Leo and Tom were in, or is it a nice place like a standard inn? No, no, no. It's just uh, like a plus one inn. Okay. A place that has nice rooms, but not a ridiculous clientele. Cool. Um... He he has a room here already. You said. Yes. Okay. Uh, well, I, I guess I'm just gonna say food's on you while we talk. Um, he uh, grudgingly admits that he does not have a penny to his name. Food's on me while we talk. How how'd you pay for the room? That was the last of my gold. What's gonna make? Uh, did Can you I have do... to make another sense motive for this guy? Yep. Yeah. Twelve. Um. Seems like a reasonable claim considering his uh, disheveled appearance. Uh, Leo, you get the the impression that uh. Well, he's telling the truth about how much money he currently has, that he's got an ace in the hole. Hmm. Okay. Well, food's on me. Uh, we're going to need to talk. Um, try not to look so miserable. And uh, I'm going to see if I can mend some of his clothes with mending. Okay. Oh. Um, what does he order? That's going to tell me a lot about this guy. Um, if you're picking up the uh, the I tab, am. then he is going to order uh, some 1380 uh, gray vein wine. How much is that? Um, it is five gold pieces a bottle, but he's just ordering a glass. How much is a glass? I think a glass is uh, a fifth of a bottle. Hang on. Okay. You said five gold, so one gold for this glass. Yeah. Um, uh, when he orders this wine, and the instant he starts to say engraved, or, or what the first word you said was, the instant he says the word engraved or anything fancy like that, I'm just going to interrupt him and say he'll have the labor's load up. Uh, yeah. 
I have, however, will have the wine. He can have wine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, a glass of uh, wine or... No, I want a bottle. That, that's totally fine. So you're going to get a five gold piece bottle of wine? Yep. Are you sharing it or just chugging it? Yeah, I'm going to drink out of the bottle. Nice. Okay. Um, you know, uh, Leo, that uh, Grey Vein wine is a... Um, special wine that's only grown the grapes for it are only grown in the south there's a uh kind of like a a silver vein of soil that runs through one of the southern uh kingdoms and it is the only place that this particular type of uh grape will grow and it produces a very very potent wine um it's more of a like a sipping wine than a drinking wine uh, it has a very strong uh, flavor, and it is uh, incredibly intoxicating. Okay, so maybe like closer to a port or even beyond a port? Uh, yeah, something along those lines. Like It's got a very high alcohol content. It's got a, a very high sugar content, which don't generally go together. Usually high alcohol means low sugar. Um, and it is like if you've ever had ice wine, it's a lot like that, just it's also got a major kick for alcohol. So it's almost uh, like at a spirit level, like 30% alcohol level. Gotcha. And I'll ask uh, if there's a barmaid or anything like that for a couple of uh, shot glasses. Okay. All right, I'll pour a little bit in one and uh, like, a, I don't know, half the shot. And uh, offer that to Aaron. Oh, thank you. And I'll oh. take it in and cheers with you and drink it in front of this man. Sounds good. Yeah, I'll uh, I'll uh, pour. Well, I'll pour a little bit, probably half of the shot glass in the other one, and then I'll cheers with the bottle itself and continue to drink out of that. <laughs> nice. And uh, I'll push the uh, shot glass forward a little bit toward the guy and ask, so what's the backup plan? Well, the backup plan um, as of now is to run. That was my plan for the morning before they caught up with me. Um, I intend to head to the capital. Uh, Nezuk, uh, and hide out there. There's a fairly low Bainite presence in the city. And I have some friends there that, uh, owe me some favors. Um, and then from there, it's just a matter of staying, uh, one step ahead of them. Why are they after you so much? This sounds like a lot more than gold. Well, it was a pretty high stakes game. Um, I was kind of gloating about uh, a big windfall I had come into. Um, my, uh, my father passed away about four months ago. Um, I was traveling abroad when it happened and I returned to find that uh, we weren't as wealthy as I thought we were and that our estate was in receivership uh, for back taxes. And when I got the bill, uh, it was accompanied by a second title, um, the uh, Merritt Castle. And after doing some research, I found out that it's a beautiful castle to the north of uh, High Edge, and it's rumored to have an enormous um, um, treasury. So I was kind of hoping that my problems were solved, except that I went up there, and it's not as nice of a place as I thought it was. What was wrong with it? Let's just say that the former inhabitants uh, still reside there. 
Is that the only issue? It's the only issue I was concerned about. And as far as you're aware, the treasury is still intact? Could your problems be solved if the undead was cleared out? Uh, potentially. Um, there is a magical vault uh, within the castle somewhere. The, uh, the location and the uh, uh, password are unknown to me. But I thought that if I went into the keep and did some searching around, I could find enough information to locate the vault and open it. But unfortunately, that was not the case. You guys can roll a sense motive on him. Okay. 16. Well, you go, Leo. Okay, um, Aaron, you get the impression that uh, well, he is being uh, truthful, you don't get the impression that he's being forthcoming. Like, he's not saying anything that's overtly a lie, but there's definitely something that uh, has scared the shit out of him. Oh, that's scared him. Okay. Um... I'm just going to put my glass down and I'm just going to look him in the eye. I'm just going to say, I paid 200 gold to get you out of that situation. And I, I'm sorry, 300 gold. And I'm willing to get you out of this situation. I'm willing to try and help. You are an interesting person that has some unfortunate things happen. And I'm willing to try and help you. You have about not two minutes to decide. The next two minutes uh, of this conversation is going to be very important for you. You're either going to tell me the full story without holding anything back, and you're going to be forthcoming about this, or we're leaving you to your device and getting attacked in the morning. Uh, right now, I cannot guarantee what's going to happen to you either way. Uh, we can try and help you. We'll do our best to help you if there's something in it for us. But right now, there is you looking or as untrustworthy as those guys look dangerous and I think you understand that that is not an unfair thing to say no that that's a fair assessment uh I I didn't really want to say exactly what I saw there but uh if you're willing to help, um, maybe we can come to an arrangement. Um, there's more than enough uh, gold in the uh, the treasury for uh, you to be compensated for your uh, generous payment to the guild. And I would be happy to uh, compensate you for your time and effort. Um when I uh, access the vault and can acquire my family's wealth. Why haven't you sold the title? The title's not worth anything if nobody's willing to go to the castle. I guess I believe him. Um... Okay. Um, I'm going to look at Leo and says, is he interested in this possibility? At the very least, it might help us with more practice in an enclosed area for what we're going to be doing in the future. Well, let me see here. Um, I'm going to... Does that work? Can I talk to... Do you think I can talk with... Uh, with them without being heard, or do I need to use like something like message? Um, you guys can talk quietly. Um, it's a busy uh, establishment. Okay, I'll just quietly say, I think we could get the castle. Are you talking to me and Tom, or yeah, talking to both of you? Oh, okay. Um. I mean, what would we do with it? Well, it's his castle. 
you wouldn't do anything with the castle. Well, yeah. I mean, Leo's saying we could take it, right? I mean... Yeah, I mean, there's treasure in there that would compensate us for giving him money. And then once we have it cleared out, we can, I don't know, have it as a uh, base. Do we intend on coming back to High Edge? I don't know. I, I just think the idea of having a castle is kind of nice. Oh, it it is, but it's legally his castle. Like, can, can he not sign it over to us? He could sign it over to you, but why would he sign it over to you? Uh, if his head's in the mouth of a wolf. Anyway, um, what would you think? I don't know. Uh, how, how much do you think is our time worth for doing this? It, obviously, it's based on difficulty, right? Um. Wilson, what did you see that you didn't want to share about? Um, my cousin. Dead or alive cousin. I'm going to need a lot more than that. She died over a decade ago. Was your cousin intelligent when you saw her last? Yes. Hmm. Is there a lot of books on the arcane in there? That is a good question. I am not sure off the top of my head, but uh, I can look that up for you. I appreciate it. How many undead would you say there were? Well, I saw the translucent form of uh, my oldest cousin at the gate. Uh, there was at least one zombie out in front of the castle. And I could see movement through the portcullis on the inside. Translucent form. Okay. Um... Still bad, but not worst case. That's better. So if we help you to retake it, how much uh, are we looking to gain? Well, how much would you uh, charge for clearing out the castle? Uh, I, I guess I'll talk to you aside. Do you want to do this like a bounty? The more we do, the more gold we get. Since we don't know how much is there, if we say a flat number, we'll either get, he'll either agree and there's a chance we'll make it out, or he might get ripped off if there's something dangerous, right? Should we do this like a bounty deal? Yeah, maybe, uh, I think we could get somewhere between 30 and 50%. The treasure? Yeah. Mm. Um if you think you can succeed in that. I was thinking more like uh I don't know, if it's a zombie, ten gold per zombie or like you know, a flat rate for the act and like everything we kill we get a we get some gold from it. But if you can get like fifty percent or even thirty percent from the full treasury, that requires him to open the treasury and honestly report to us while we're in wherever we're going uh river or something um i mean i assume trustworthy enough is the god of or followers of tomorrow uh honest people will look or are they uh eh, that's racist isn't it that's discrimination um does he seem trustworthy that's what dd is about racism i mean you're right but i shouldn't actively do it and welcome back what are you being racist about I was I was asking if follows up tomorrow. Uh, like, are, are do they keep their word when they gamble, or are they just a bunch of lying scumbags? I mean, they're chaotic good generally. Yeah, they don't generally do things that are specifically dishonest, but they they will definitely fudge and bluff things. 
Yeah. Uh, the library contains uh, an impressive collection of books on history, nature, and warfare. Does he know that to tell us, or do we know that from the previous text from Leo? Or you asked if there was a knowledge arcana books in there, and I was looking up what books are in there. Okay, so he would answer that. Uh, yeah, we'll say he know. He's old enough that he remembers the castle before um, everybody died, so um, he doesn't have uh, detailed knowledge. But he was there a couple of years before the incident happened okay um do you know who this guy is leo like is his family like they have a castle is he like As, uh, knowledge okay. nobility yeah you can roll a knowledge nobility because i'm starting to wonder if just getting this guy and i good graces like if him owing us like he was willing to cash in favors for other people is him owing us a favor valuable because if so we don't need to screw him on the rates we charge him we give him a decent deal and get him his home at a decent price he might owe us something remember when you do your reroll that it's your bardic knowledge not the same check again gotcha you should just set up a bardic yeah. knowledge macro. And yeah. if it just put the mods for it. It's just a D20 plus your level and your intelligence and then whatever your synergies are, you can just put plus two for religion, plus two for nobility. But an eight is nothing, so roll your bardic knowledge. Okay. Are you back to him? Yeah. Okay. Um, they came into High Edge um, as they were passing through town. Uh, they were walking through the memorial or walking past the memorial gardens where they encountered uh, Wilson. He was being beat up by a bunch of thugs. Apparently he owed the money. The party gave the thugs half of the gold that they requested to make them go away. And then they took um, Wilson to uh, his inn um, for dinner, and they're discussing his financial issues, one of which is that he owes a lot of back taxes in excess of the value of his ancestral home. And the other is that it turns out he owns um, a castle to the north, um, which belonged to his uncle, and uh, now he's the sole heir, and apparently there's lots of treasure inside. Uh, Leo, um, it f suddenly dawns on you, uh, the Merrick, uh, Merritt Castle uh, is a, a very wealthy uh, family home of uh, Baron Bryson uh, Merritt, and... Uh, Wilson is uh, Baron Leo Wilson, who uh, isn't really that significant of a noble in the Empire, but up here in the uh, area north of the uh, Red Line, he is basically the ruler. His family owns all the land around here. So probably... Someone that if we were to restore uh, their status with, would uh, be a good ally to have? Uh, most definitely. Um, you know that uh, Noella uh, Merritt, Bryson's uh, wife, uh, died shortly before the incident. And... Uh, that Bryson suspected assassins of poisoning her. Beyond that, um, no one really knows what happened. Just one day, there was no more word from the castle, and nobody who went there ever returned. 
All right. So I'll uh, share this realization with the other two, but not let uh, uh, not let him know that I know anything. Um, I'll uh, pass over the half shot of wine. <laughs> I think that's a good sign that you know something. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so... Okay, then I guess if you want to be fair with him, right? The ultimate question is, how much do we want to charge him? How much can we extract from him? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously, right? Like, how how much is our time worth? Like, how much is... So, I'm a little confused here. Yeah, carry on. Uh, so, two things. So, this guy was getting beat up because he owed some thugs money. Yeah, he has a follow-up Kimura and... And then he also owes a bunch of back taxes that basically means that whole castle and all this land around is owed in back taxes. Because you said the festival home, right? The his, first land was owed back taxes and was repossessed. Yes, his his father was a lord who was behind on his taxes, and the taxes exceed the value of the lord's land. But when his father died, he technically became the heir of the barony, as the his mother was the baron's sister, and he's the last surviving member of the family. So, so it, it's his his father's side that owes the money, not his mother's side. Uh, technically, but all the debts fall to him. The issue at the moment is that he does not have th the money he needs to pay off his current uh, debt, and it exceeds the value of his assets, so he's basically having his land seized if he doesn't come up with the, the, the bill. And that's when, when he had that realization, he found out about this other castle that doesn't have any back taxes or anything because it's beyond okay the so the, the, so okay i get it now yeah it's All north right. it's north of uh high edge i i was like so we're gonna go liberate this castle only for someone to take it back as part of their back taxes but that's not necessarily the case if there's a bunch of riches inside because no it's an unknown yes uh, according okay. to him got it there is a large amount of ca cash in the uh, treasury in the castle. And uh, if he recovers it, he'll be able to pay off his debts and be uh, totally flush. And if he can retake the castle, that is a huge asset as well. The cool. uh, Merit Castle is the largest fortification beyond the Red Line. Yeah, it's, it's, I think it seems worth uh, going for it and, uh, you know, being associated with a person that could have all this power over the area. So, um, I mean, I, I just glance at the, the table just because I don't know what else to go by. Uh, 1,200 is the encounter for CR4. So we could just, do we want to say for how many? There's four of us, right, including Luke? Yep. Uh, five thousand. Is that too too much? Too low? Are you offering that to him or asking the party? I mean, I'm asking the party. Uh, like, is that how much? Like, and maybe one item or something from, uh, the libraries, like a book or something. I mean, I I think knowledge can help us here, uh, especially if we're going forward. I know I'm failing my checks out of character. Um. So, I mean, reading up could be helpful. Or even if it's not library, just if there's a treasury or an armory or something, right? Hmm. How, how do you guys want to spin this? Do you guys want to do, like, something low plus one item and try and get him in at good graces? Do we want to, like, hoist him up 50, 30% of the whole value of the thing um, and basically press gang him? Or what's the plan here? Or do we just want to go full-on charity and, like, 
I, I, I'm not sure I'd recommend the charity because you might just think we're soft and easy to manipulate, but that is an option. Yeah, I say that uh, we try to go in maybe at a 2,000 ish each and then. Uh, 2,000 each? Yeah, and then maybe I'll uh, request some land. You, we could just go with percentage. After the back tax uh, are taken out, but ten percent, you would yeah, tie this. But if we're leaving, we will have to rely on his word. He could fudge the numbers, right? Like how, yeah. how, how much do you trust? Like that the man's been chased because he has money, right? Like. Yeah, but he's still he saying it's an option. Right? Yeah, no, it is. I agree with you, but my my question is, how much do we trust? So he doesn't know how to get in. Like even if we, even if the uh, castle is empty, Correct. he doesn't know how to get to the treasury. Correct. He'd have to spend time to figure it out. The we probably vault, would have left town by then. The vault is magical in nature. It is in an extra dimensional space within the castle. There is a portal somewhere in the castle to the vault. He just does not know where it is because it's not his castle. I assume there's a lock or something that prevents other people from going into this portal. He does not know what security measures are required for opening the portal. But he is confident once he has possession of the castle that he will be able to gain access to the vault simply because he can hire someone to do it if he needs to. I think we want the condition that... Uh... When he gets access to the vault, we get access to the vault as well. So we have time to understand how much money there is. So we want to do a percentage? Yeah, and if it's, if it's significant enough that, uh, you know, the entire, like, it's the biggest thing in this area, you could probably just do something like 10% uh, after taxes. Keep in mind, the castle is the biggest thing in this area, not necessarily the vault. Or the wealth of it. Yeah. Um, Leo, you, you know... Hmm? Leo, you know that the wealth of uh, Merritt Castle is not gold. It is actually silver. He keeps talking about all the gold that's in there, but you know for a fact that it's silver. What does that mean? It means that the wealth of the castle comes from a source of silver, not a source of gold. So like a mine? Or... It could be a mine. It could be a variety of things. But you know from the reputation of the castle oh, that they always pay their, uh, their taxes and their wages in silver as opposed to gold. Okay. So... But that just means that they use like a, like 10 times the amount of coins for a transaction compared to gold right it's not like their money is less or anything like that right no it just it puts the concept of it into uh perspective like a bucket filled with gold pieces is thousands of gold pieces a bucket filled with silver is only hundreds of gold pieces but if you're paying in wages does that matter no, it it doesn't matter. What I'm getting at is the order of magnitude. If I hand you a wad oh, of twenties so to... and it's it one twenty and a bunch of singles inside, it might look impressive, but it's not necessarily impressive. I see. So you're saying you're trying to upsell it? Okay. Well, you don't get the impression that he's trying to deceive you. You just get the impression that he I mean, yeah, he's, he's a noble and he speaks in gold pieces. Gold silver is for commoners. Okay. Ah. Like he ordered a bottle of wine that's five gold pieces. That's five times more than the room you guys refuse that Aaron refused to rent for the night. Yeah, it is. The same as I was mine. Um okay, that makes sense. Alright. Um, then let's just start with a flat ten thousand for the group and then uh see where he bargains from there. Okay. We'll, we'll see if he can bargain his way down or something. Um, yeah. 
Uh, he well, seems absolutely appalled at the concept of 10,000. That's a absolutely ludicrous amount of money. When he says that, he's going to be like, look, I understand you're probably, this is a valuable place, and you feel you should be paying more to liberate your ancestral home. I understand that. We're trying to do you a favor here. That's why it's so low. He offers you 3,000 gold pieces to clear out the castle. 5,000 and uh, land in a title. And let's just go to the high mage or whatever. Does he have the authority to give out titles? Technically, um, he does. Um, he doesn't yeah. even really need to take the castle to give a title. Unfortunately, uh, he can't really defend these lands without the title, without the castle. So, um, if he was to give you a title up here, it would be kind of like it would obviously be your land, and you could tax the people and whatnot. But uh, you would be uh, on your own for defending it. Mm, makes sense. Um, so, uh, you respond with 5,000 and titles, Leo? Uh, 5,000 and some land and titles, yeah. He says he can go 5,000 or 3,000 and a lordship. Mm. Can... Uh, For each of us, or uh, for one of us? He'll give you 3,000 for clearing the, the castle, and he will grant each of you a title if you want it. Do we ha Does his land extend to where we'll be going? No, his land is uh, just around high edge. Okay, so if we had to defend it, we would be like half a week away. Uh, from Yeah, from Rolif, if, if that's where you are talking about. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it'd probably be like a week away then, right? Yeah, you're 180 miles away. Um, I guess I'm more so. How long does it take to send money from a place to a place? It depends on how you're doing it. If you're sending um, specific coins, it takes however long it is to travel that distance. If you're doing it through a bank, um, it can be done, depending upon how much of a fee you want to pay, uh, very quickly. Okay. Like if you want to use magical means for communication and transport and all that kind of stuff, uh, it can be done in an hour. Yeah, I just figure if I uh, needed to defend a land, hiring mercenaries or something like that from remotely while we're adventuring, you know, that sort of thing. Who's the Baron to the north of Rolith where we'll be in? Like like the, the northern area between, around Auroch Rim and Green Rim. Is there a Baron there? No, that's all free land. Free land, okay. So that's land we could also take control of. Yep, most definitely. Um, Orok Rim is a half orc Orc's settlement. Settle. Oh, half orc settlement. Um, and it is basically in the wilderness. Um, everything along, like everything from River Rim up, is all just sort of wild stuff on the edge of the empire. Like, down at this end, most of these settlements are pretty well established. But um, as you get closer to the northern part there, it becomes pretty uh, frontiery. Okay. Um, Tom, you've been quiet. Tom doesn't, Tom doesn't like negotiation. Like the strongest negotiation is the one where you walk away. Well, I mean, not about the negotiation. Like, what do you want? Like, like, where are you, are you here? Like, I, I'm, I'm curious. What are you feeling? What's your gut telling you? Uh, a dwarven's gut is the most valuable, the most durable part of him. My gut tells me that the DM spent time building this castle so we should okay, go okay okay try in character try in character now the dm, the DM is, is fine with you moving on if you want to <clears throat> i think this guy is weak and he deserves the punishment he's getting 
So you're not interested. I'm ambival ambivalent because I'm also down for a fight, but we also don't have any clue what we're getting into. Oh, right. Sorry, you probably went here. Um, the place has been taken over by undead, and it appears that they're... Well, C saw a trans... His, his cousin, who's been long dead for ten uh, about 10 years, as a translucent figure, so probably a ghost. Um, he saw a couple of zombies, but the ghost is probably the scariest part. There are books on magic there, and it's intelligent. So we might be dealing with like a ghost that can do magic, possibly. Um, there there are no magical books. Oh, they said Arcana. Or did no, you say that? no, you specifically asked me what books were there, yeah, you said and that's why I looked it up. History, nature, warfare. Oh, okay. My bad. I apologize. That's my fault. Um, I took all that time to go and look up what was in the library, and well, then you just completely ignored it. No, I, I, wrote down, I wrote those three, and I wrote Arcana, because I thought you said Arcana as well. My no, bad. I said there's no, there's no arcane knowledge in there. These are the three types of books it has. Okay, so no we'll look for arcane knowledge there. <laughs> yes. Now, um... So, yeah, we have this ghost. That's probably the scariest part, and we're going to need to prepare to deal with that if we want to do it. Um, my first thought, the reason why Aaron's pretty interested in this isn't so much, it's kind of to help him, you know, sure, a bit, maybe, but also he figures this is good good practice for when we go in to help the guy in Roller. Um, and us getting practice and training here could be useful. Um, yeah. So, Dwarf, do you care about a title? No. Do you <laughs> care about a title? Static, disinterested, fuck you know I've heard from a dwarf. That's great. Aaron, do you want one? Um, I don't think I could protect land here. All right, so let's say 4,000 and only I get the title. Sold. Great. I will uh, uh, point to the line. Check something out from the library. <laughs> uh, I'll point to the line and see if I can get another bottle from uh, the barkeep. Okay, I can definitely bring you another bottle. Would you allow us to check s some interesting books out from the library? Uh, you're welcome to read the books and borrow the books, but uh, the books are family heirlooms. We would send a curator to return them. I would. Fair enough. Cool. All right, I'll hand him uh, the, the bottle of wine. 